Hey guys, it's M Bands. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about the time I lost my V car. I need to give y'all a little bit of background on the guy. So we're gonna call him Tyrell for this video. And I'm gonna just give you a little bit of background on how I met Tyrell in the first place. So I met Tyrell on it was like ninth grade year. So either the summer going into junior year or it was junior year i had got back on facebook i had just moved to this new city so i had got back on facebook because facebook was very popular in that area so i hopped back on facebook like duh i can like you know meet people have friends and shit so one random day like tyrell just basically sent me a friend request and I ended up accepting it or whatever but like that leads literally into nothing like we literally all we do is like laugh at each other's posts and like maybe comment here or there but it was just never like we never like took it as far as like I'm gonna inbox the other person you know what I'm saying one day like I had commented on one of his posts or share something or whatever and he ended up inboxing me on messenger so we ended up talking on there and then we ended up exchanging numbers like actual phone numbers so we basically was just facetiming and texting each other and we never really linked and let me tell you the main reason why neither of us had cars and i think both of us we just had our permit or something like that and we just both didn't have any car and what does it look like your parents taking you to a nigga house to go get fuck. my mom personally she just wouldn't be doing that what the fuck i don't even know where the hell i'm at in the story right now such a bad storyteller i don't need to tell stories fuck oh yeah i remember now so my mom she was not letting me use her car usually like she would let me use her car but i would ask my mom can i use her car she would be like why are you trying to use a car and i could not lie to my mom i just couldn't i just couldn't i was like shit so i didn't lie but i didn't tell the truth so she was like like shit you can't give me no reason to why you need my car you can't get it and then any other time i would be like trying to lie my mom just my mom just i don't know for some reason my mom just didn't let me use the car every time i asked her to use the car when i wanted to go see him uh yes that was annoying mom cock blocking but she did a good thing she did a good thing how y'all think about that jamaican accent but anyway ended up just like not being able to see each other and we would just be on the phone all the time just texting here and there but you know after a certain time you be wanting to see a motherfucker and this motherfucker gonna ghost me yes me he gonna ghost me prior to me and, and this dude getting together girl i didn't have no experience with niggas i had no experience with niggas like the most I did was ever probably like kiss a nigga. And even then, I ain't even kiss niggas for real. Never did no shit under the bed, like nothing. Like I was I was a good kid. My mom did her, her, her little big one on me. Okay, mom. And like I said, we didn't we didn't have any way to get to each other. And he ended up ghosting me. Motherfucker. So he ended up ghosting me or whatever and come back and try to text me or whatever and we would text and then i would ghost him and then it would just be like back and forth where we would be just ghosting each other like <laughs> but i was only ghosting him because he ghosted me because the fuck so one time like it was kind of on our on and off spells like of us just texting mind you we still have not met yet and this is going into my like senior year of high school yeah, because it was after graduation. Was it after graduation? I think it was after graduation. Fuck. Okay, it was after graduation. And I remember he had inboxed me. He had... So, during our our um, our um on and off spells, I had unadded him on Facebook. So, I didn't talk to him. And we just never communicated for a long ass time. Like, months, 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 months. months. I kind of forgot this nigga even existed. But I also, like, 
I knew who of who he was, but like I wasn't thinking about him. He ended up adding me back on Facebook and I added him back. So I was like, oh, so-and-so, I remember him. So he added me back, he slid my inbox. I had texted back. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why is he texting me? Like, like I said, I'm gonna keep referring back to the fact that I had no experience no experience it's like i didn't even really talk to niggas like i didn't talk to niggas like my mom didn't let me date like it was like i was like that y'all have to bear with me and please don't judge if you judge it's because you're a bitch so he texts me whatever and he had asked me about linky i was like nigga yes that's link nigga i got a car like at, at this point no experience with men like nigga i did not know niggas be playing like niggas will literally play in your face i didn't i had no idea that niggas will really play. niggas will really play in your face and lie to your face straight to your face like but i was naive don't be like me nigga so we ended up scheduling to link or whatever and we end up doing that and that's kind of just how the first link went now fast forward to after the first link. He was telling me all this shit like, oh, like I like you, like you're pretty, like, like I like hanging out with you, like this is all happening after the first link. So he texted me, telling me he wanna link again, like he wants to take me out and he gonna plan something, we're gonna do something. <laughs> and we gonna do something, we're gonna have fun and like, we can go talk and have a walk and the water and all this shit and all this and that romantic ass shit. I'm like, yeah. Oh God, this this is one of them. Like up until this point of me knowing him, I like him. Like I I like what I see. I like what I've gotten to know so far. Like he was cool people and he looked good to me. Me personally, I was so for the dreads like baby you couldn't find me having no crush on no nigga without no dreads like i was really down bad with the dreads with the dread heads mm. damn real bad about some dread heads and that's my point right there every dread head nigga they're a fucking lying cheating bitch that was one of my many mistakes taking a dread head series honestly it it just it, it doesn't work so after that um we ended up linking again or whatever this was supposed to be the time that we we're supposed to be going on this so-called date let me put this as a disclaimer in the video bitch i had no experience so <laughs> he picked me up right it was kind of getting dark around like date time so i wasn't so mad like it was like seven eight so it wasn't hella late, it wasn't hella early, but, you know, um, nigga, we were supposed to been start this fucking day. Not that he gave me a specific time, but if you say you want to do all these things that you have planned and you've given me options and lists, why are we starting at the tail butt end of the day? That should have been a second fucking red flag right there. You feel me? Like, it's just certain shit. A nigga tell you, you just gotta feed through the bullshit. One thing about it, that motherfucker played the shit at me. He pulls up, and I get in the car, and he like, what you wanna do? Like, it's a, like, it's a fucking chore. Like, as soon as a nigga make you feel like a chore, bitch, you need to leave. And trust me, it's a nigga out here for you, baby. He like, where you wanna go? I'm like, bro, like, in my head, I'm like, damn, like, I thought he was supposed to have this ready. He started listing options for me to pick from basically he started listing activities we got like paintball we got paintball and we got go-karts and, and laser tag and bowling and movies and arcade and all this shit and he started telling me like to pick basically like pick i started picking he like so you want to go to the movies in arcade and i was like yeah that's fine pull up to arcade and we go in the arcade and, and he buy us some chips to play and we play in the arcade and and actually it's not like bad like it's okay it's fun it's like okay and i just remember in that moment i'm like damn this shit is i think i'm living a life 
with my little dread head. With my little dread head. Uh, my little dread head. Uh, and he paying my way. He be paying my way. I'm like, <laughs> that's how I felt when. I was with him like I'm like damn I'm living my fucking fantasy right now like this is this is everything I imagine I start nigga while we on the fucking arcade day I'm starting naming off five kids and nigga had me so in love and I wasn't even really in love with this man I was in love with the idea it's I was like I said no experience with a nigga so let's chill on me chill on me anyway after we left the arcade we got back in the car and. He was like, okay, so what you want to do? I was like, I thought we was going to the movies after arcade. He like, <laughs> he like, I thought you wanted to go to arcade. <laughs> he, no, he literally did say arcade in the movie. He not even about to make me sound crazy. He had a little attitude about it. You sassy ass broke, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yep, I called him broke. You know the movie we went to go see? It was a fucking boring ass movie. It was something about a dinosaur. So he went to go see that movie and he was like in the movie he was basically like trying to rub up on me and shit like hug on me kiss on me and shit like that so in the movie theater in the movie theater i was like stop like this is my first time even bitch and you're trying to take it to pda i can't even do it behind closed doors like this is crazy to me like i said i had no experience with niggas i might have kissed one two niggas but this man was literally rubbing all on me like making me just feel some type of way bitch i, I was like damn i didn't even know a nigga could make me feel all these ways he was touching places i was like in the movie theater rubbing me up and shit and all in my ear whispering in my ear like oh he looks so <laughs> <laughs> bitch texting me on through the notes app talking about some you look cute you look pretty and shit like that <sighs> like bitch how old is we was we and you playing that little kid ass shit with me like the movie was like not even halfway over he like you want to leave like early you want to leave you trying to leave i was like no like we should watch the movie like <laughs> nigga i'm not even fucking i didn't know like after a nigga take you out a nigga probably gonna expect you to give him something you're either gonna have to give a nigga your time, your meow meow, your monty. A nigga gonna always want something. Cause a nigga just, a nigga, <laughs> they're always gonna want something. So, fast forward after we get out the movies, he drive to this little place. He like, we can go listen to music and shit. Oh, my mom, I'm not telling y'all where. Cause y'all not about the door me. So, we pull up, it's already dark as fuck. <laughs> There's no fucking street lights. Bitch, you know what time it is. So, we're in the car listening to music. He start playing music and shit. He like, let's get in the backseat. <laughs> I was hesitant. Because I, like, he was like, it's more room back here. Like, you can just, so we can relax, like, and spread out. Like, I'm cringing, fuck. After I, we both got in the backseat, we literally was just like, I was like laying down on him. Basically, we was back there chilling, listening to music and shit. I just remember, I can remember the music that was playing. Like, this shit is literally scarred in my brain. Like, so, he like start touching. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't think, I hope he doesn't think he's about to get some of this. Cause baby, I'm not giving it. <laughs> That's what I thought. He started like touching me, rubbing me in places. I just never been rubbed. I'm like, oh my God, no, he got me. Fuck, he like, come on, he like, come on, come on, let's like take these off and shit. Okay. But I'm a virgin and fuck, got fucked and all that. And I'm the only one standing. I gotta put on for my team if I'm about to do this, man. I wanted to know what the hype was about. Come on. Just like you all say. You guys wanted to know. Y'all probably wanted to know what the hype about. That's probably why y'all went and tried it. Y'all had no business fucking. And y'all still went. You know what I'm saying? He ended up rubbing and shit. I, he was like, let me eat it. Like, <laughs> hey, please let me eat it. Like, let me eat it. Like, fucking scared. Like, I never did anything with no nigga like 
watch porn all the fucking time so i kind of knew what to do but i wasn't really sure of what to do touching on me basically telling me like this is something that we should do like having sex is something that me and you should be doing right at this moment <laughs> oh my gosh y'all for real do not yak me don't yak me he was like bro like we can flip a quarter like come on like come on this is a good idea i was like he was like okay heads or tails like hey like, i'll flip a quarter <laughs> uh this is that right there should have been the next flag hey if they ever start begging for it just leave because why would you beg just assume you don't need to fuck him because if nobody else doing it why should you but I don't know something about him just <sighs> he started touching me and a bitch got weak <laughs> he helped me take my panties off or whatever He we get ready to start doing it and we stuck it in bitch I was like oh, what the fuck bitch like uh stiff as fuck like i was like what the fuck this cannot be what you guys are talking about this can't be the same dick y'all talking about this cannot be the same dick y'all fighting over not this dick and it was it was it was the same dick I, I i don't know he started stroking it or whatever we switched positions or whatever and it didn't really last long at all but i know it was really really late at night and like it was just time to go home we cleaned ourselves up I'm, I'm like holy shit i really just had sex like what the fuck after that we were driving to drive me back off at home so while the fuck while we're on the way home a police pull us over so he didn't got us pulled over the cop he started telling the cop that where his mom and his dad work i'm like oh, god he like he'll see that it's registered to my dad so we'll get out of this in no time yeah right we fucking going to jail now mind you we had done it wrong. i don't re recommend anybody doing no shit like that we got done and he finished he pulled out he had nut on his fucking leg he literally he looked at me he said are you on birth control i said no i'm not on birth control actually he said oh we gotta get you on that and i gotta get you a plan b in the morning so not only does this nigga nut at me he just casually asked are you on birth control? Crazy thing is, after that, I found out this nigga had a whole bitch, like, not even one bitch, but two whole bitches. Those are the type of niggas I indeed we fucked with. Yes, you can judge me. You can shame me all you want. But, bitch, write down a list of the niggas you fucked. I bet I can point two or three lames out. Even if you only fuck one nigga, I better be one lame nigga bitch but yeah y'all that's how that's the story time on how i lost my virginity thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as it took as much courage as it took me to post this video because i hate that i even did that but at least like i say i lived and i learned and i just feel like if you are thinking about losing your virginity and you're watching this video, I just feel like, girl, make sure it's the right nigga. Like, some niggas really not worth having in your space, having in your bed. Like, most of these niggas do not deserve it. Real shit. Like, strap up because shit like that can happen to you. And sometimes niggas don't even be telling you things. None of you. Like, niggas are fucking weird. Like, niggas are fucking weird. It's crazy out here. Be safe, guys. Thank you guys for watching.